Hey, what's up, guys? This is Mr. Ipot coming in with a homework help video. Uh, let's just jump right into this. This is homework 7.2, part 2 for my 4th, 5th, and 8th period classes. Uh, so looking at this, I'm going to jump down to number 4. Let's go ahead and look at number 4. If you're looking at number 4, 1 third equals 3 in. Uh, plus one third plus one half. So your very first step, first step, convert all mixed numbers to improper fractions. Okay, that is our very first step. So we're going to do that uh, right now. So we have one third equals three in. I just bring everything down, plus one third, and then plus I times and then add. Two times one is two plus one is three, three halves. Okay. So then from there, I convert all mixed numbers to improper fractions. I don't have any distributive property, so now I find the LCM of the denominators. Well, the denominators are 3 and 2, so I need to find the LCM of 3 and 2. Now, the question is, what is the LCM of 3 and 2? You would have to basically list out the multiples. You got 2, 4, 6, you got 3, 6, 9, 12. And the least common of those would be 6. So your least common multiple of 2 and 3 is 6. So once you give that, we're then going to multiply your third step, multiply both sides of the equation by the uh, LCM. So we multiply both sides times 6. Now, if we were to rewrite that, we could rewrite it, but I'm just going to multiply it straight through. 6 goes to there, it goes to here, it goes to here. This is distributed property. So now we're going to rewrite everything so it would look... Um, so it would make sense. So we're actually showing our work through the distributive property. So this would be 6 over 1 times 1 third, close quantity, equals the quantity of 6 times 3n, which we should know that that's just simply 18n. And we can kind of close that quantity in. And then we have plus 6 over 1 times, because 6 times 3 is 18n, 6 times 1 third, but we're going to show that since it's a fraction. And then we have plus 6 over 1 times 3 halves. And if you notice, the 6 times this side would be here. 6 times 3n is 18n. 6 times 1 third, or 6 over 1 times 1 third. And then 6 times uh, 3 halves would be 6 over 1 times 3 halves. From there, we can cross simplify. 3 will go into itself once. It will go into 6 two times. So I have 2 times 1 over 1 times 1, which is just simply 2, equals, drop the 18 in. Looking at this, 6 over 1 times 1 third. The 3's will go into itself once, so it'll go into 6 twice. 2 times 1 over 1 times 1 will just simply be 2. And then I have, um, right here, cross simplify, 2 will go into itself once, it'll go into that 3 times, and then I would have plus 9. So now, uh, I create a variables constant side. I do variables on my left, constants on my right. Uh, 2 is a constant, so I'm going to move it over here. 18 is a variable, I'm going to move it over here. This is a constant, I'm going to drop it. This is a constant, I'm just going to drop it. From there, we have negative 18 in. Combine this. Negative 2 plus 2 is just simply 0, and then I'm left with 9. I divide both sides. I divide both sides by negative 18, and I get n equals negative 1 half. Okay? So n equals negative 1 half. Okay? I'll give you just a kind of a second to look at that. Make sure you look it over good. Okay, then from there, let's go to the um, let's go to the back side. Um, let's look at number six. How about number six? Let's look at number six. Five twelfths equals negative uh, two and two thirds x plus two minus one half x. So from there, first step: change all convert all mixed numbers to improper fractions. So this right here is a mixed number. I want to change it to an improper fraction. So my first line would be five over twelve equals. You multiply and you add. Bring it around. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8. So 8 negative 8 thirds x plus 2 minus 1 half. Now that I have that, I am then going to find my LCM of my denominators of 2, 3, and 12. Keep in mind, most of the time your LCM is going to be your biggest number. Just make sure 2 and 3 are going to it. It will, so your LCM is 12. 
So now I want to multiply both sides by 12. In, do in order to do that, just put parentheses around both sides and put a 12 next to it. And basically, from here, we're going to show the distributive property. Okay. So from there, we draw our next line. My next line would be the quantity of 12 over 1 times 5 over 12 equals the quantity of 12 over 1 times negative 8 over 3x. That's that distributive property, 12 times negative 8 thirds x. And then we have closed quantity plus 12 times 2. We can go ahead and just write that out. 12 times 2. And then we have minus, because 12 times a negative is a negative. Positive times a negative is a negative. 12 over 1 times 1 over 2x. Closed quantity. So again, this, and we're showing our work with the distributive property since they're fractions. Then we can cross simplify and make our life a lot easier. So this produces this. 12 to 8 thirds is there. 12 times 2 is here. 12 times negative, or uh, 12 times 1 half is here. So then from there, we we work this out. 12s will cancel, leaving us with just 5 right here. So 5 equals 3 will go into itself once. It'll go into 12 four times. So I'm left with 4 times negative 8, which would be negative 32x. Don't forget about your variable there. And then 12 times 2 is 24. And then minus 2 will go into itself once. It will go into uh, 12 6 times. 6 times 1 would be negative 6x. Now I do a variables constant. Draw a line. I got variables. I got constants. Boom, boom. And then 5 is a constant, move it across, change the sign. That's a variable, move it across, change the sign. 24 is a constant, drop it. Negative 6 is a variable, move it over. Okay. So then from there, we have 38x. And then since these signs are different, just since they're different, just find the difference in them. Um, so 24 minus 5 would be 19. And as and you take the sign of the bigger number, so negative 5 plus 24 would be positive 19. You're then going to divide both sides by 38. And x equals 19 divided by 38 is 1 half. And I'll give you a second to look at that. Okay, the last thing I will work for you will be, um, I'm not going to work this full problem, but I'm going to get you started. So this is the a little bit more difficult because it has distributive property. So still, your first step, convert all mixed numbers to improper fraction. It looks like we just have one. So you're right, 35 equals 2 and 1 half would become, 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 halves times the quantity of negative 7 over 2x plus 1 half. Close quantity minus 5 has x. So we now have all fractions, no mixed numbers. Now we don't do the LCM right here. We actually need to take care of this distributive property first. So I would say to distribute the 5 halves into this and the 5 halves into this, and we're actually going to write all that out. So it looks like this. The 35 drops equals the quantity of 5 halves times negative 7 over 2x, close quantity, and then plus, since that's a plus, a positive times a positive is a positive, 5 halves times 1 half, close quantity. This right here is represented by this, minus 5, two, 5 halves x. So again, if I'm showing this with some highlighters, this right here, um, this and this, produces this. And this and this produce this. So we're actually just showing our work. We're not actually multiplying it. But now we have it like this. Let's multiply. So we now ha we have 35 equals. Nothing cross simplifies here. We can't cross simplify. So it's going to be negative multiplied numerators, denominators. 5 times 7 is 35. 2 times 2 is 4. So negative 35x. And then plus, again, nothing cross simplifies. So multiply uh, numerators and denominators. We have 5 over 4. And then from there, you would just drop that negative 5 halves x down. And then from there, we're kind of we're set up now to find the LCM. So you say the LCM, find the LCM of 2 and 4. The LCM of 2 and 4 is simply 4. So from there, 
I would do this right here. Multiply. Multiply this side and this side by 4. Distribute this to here and distribute this to here. This to here and this to right here. So that would look like this. Uh, 4 times 35. 4 times 30 is 120. 4 times 5 is 20. So that's going to be 140. Equals, you're looking right here, the quantity. 4 over 1 times negative 35 over 4x. Close quantity. Plus, there's a plus sign. 4 over 1 times 5 over 4. Minus 4 over 1 times uh, negative 5 over 2x. And that right there is where I'm actually going to leave you for that problem. Now, I'm going to leave you there, but I'm going to give you the answer. The answer is actually uh, x is equal to uh, negative 3. But don't come in tomorrow with just this. Go ahead and solve it out from there and see if you can get that. If you're not getting that, then you're making a mistake somewhere. Try to figure that out. Hey, thanks. Hope this has helped you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow.